Hey there, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. Today I had a chance to play a couple matches and what I really thought I was going to be doing was figuring out how well I could play with the Dr. Neubauer Aggressor Pro Pips that I had recently purchased and still was trying to figure out how they worked. Um, short answer on that is they worked okay. <laughs> they uh, really never got real good control of them, but they are, were adequate and didn't, um, about like I had figured before in that they were faster than you expect them to be, a little harder to control, but um, got, got some positive feedback from using them and uh, I don't think they hurt my game. So I'm gonna hang in there with them a little while. I think that sometimes the uh, more difficult uh, pips to use are sometimes the toughest on your opponents, but you gotta master them first. Well, that's that's what I'm going with anyway. I didn't certainly didn't think they were worth getting rid of, but that's not really the point of this video because um, what I learned about the pips was not nearly as important about what I learned about how I need to approach my own game. And I think a lot of other people might figure this out as well. All right, my two opponents, one a bit of a chopper, lobber, and uh, fisher, <laughs> heavy underspin, a lot of chopping, a little bit of uh, a forehand loop not really attacking from his backhand, uh, but a lot of spin, a lot of changing spins. Doesn't use pips, uh, actually just chopping and uh, lobbing with smooth rubber. Uh, this is Shola, for those of you guys that know him. That was the picture that you saw at the start of the video. Um, you have to really think to, have, to play him. I usually do decently against him. Um, and have won a lot of matches against him, and he's won a lot against me. Uh, as it turned out, he, um, our matches were close. He played me twice and beat me uh, in close matches twice. And then uh, ended up playing Pierre, who is a uh, bit more of a, sorry about that, folks, more of a looper. The point being, I was playing people who put a lot of spin on the ball, and I, was trying to match them with that and trying to have just as much spin as they did. Uh, I wasn't consciously trying to do that, but I was just trying to play my normal game. It was a lot, ended up, I was trying to uh, chop with Shola and uh, trying to stay in the point with um, spinny shots with Pierre. In the end, I ended up having more success by abandoning that and playing a completely different way, a way I haven't played in a while, and it turned out to be uh, where I had my most success. The pips didn't play a big part of that because I wasn't using them near as much, but I simplified my game just down to um, punch blocks, uh, not giving my opponents the kind of spin that they wanted. And uh, Shola left before I had a chance to really try it on him, but I think it would have worked well with him and it worked well enough with Pierre that I was able to win a couple matches towards the end. Point being, you sometimes have to explore what's working, um, what hopefully your game is evolving all of the time and sometimes you have to take a step backwards. Even though you can make certain shots, doesn't mean that you have to. <laughs> um, just because you can chop just because you because you can loop. I'm, I said I'm just kind of talking in general. I'm learn, telling you the lessons I learned, and maybe you can learn some different lessons. But when it really came down to it, the strength of my game is blocking. Um, there's a lot of other things I can do, but when I'm playing my toughest opponents, if I can just continue blocking backhand counter drives, I mean really not give them a lot of spin to work with. Every time I chop, every time I push, every time I do a roll or a slow loop, that sets up um, the types of players that like to loop and chop, it plays right into their game. So I don't want, don't want to try to play their game, even though I can. 
I'd actually find more success playing what I do well. And um, anybody that's played me probably tell you I, I do block pretty well. So I ended up blocking a lot with my backhand when shots to my uh, forehand when I was using the uh, Dr. Neubauer pips. It, it wasn't throwing anybody off tremendously, but uh, like I said, they were adequate. And so if I can think about my game as far as playing a blocking game that works, um, gives me the best chance to win, and then I can focus on, I really have to do good serves. I don't want to get into having to block attacks that are too strong. If I can get some good blocks in, the attacks don't, you know, become weaker and less, um, less effective. So it's just as important that I get my good serves in and then set up for the block. Um, serve return, again, I, I want to make good serve returns and then force, force opponents to deal with my game instead of me constantly dealing with them. Oh, you may be a player that has a completely different story, but perhaps this is give you something to think about when you're trying to play somebody who plays a different style. Don't try to outplay them in their own style. And uh, anyway, that's what I learned today. I uh, lost more than I won, but I ended up uh, winning a few. And the big win was learning something, which hopefully I'll do every single time I play. All right, thanks a lot. See you next time.